In a world where emotions often dictate our reality, one man's teachings challenge us to transform our lives from the inside out. Dr. Joe Dispenza invites us on a journey to discover the hidden power within our minds and hearts. Discover the extraordinary story of Cambodian women whose unspoken traumas manifested in darkness until the power of belief opened their eyes to light. Learn how emotional intelligence and understanding can break cycles of pain, turning the placebo effect from myth into a miraculous tool for healing. Dive deep into the science of self-healing where emotions are not your enemy and belief is your strongest ally. Transform your life and discover how you are the placebo. Welcome to Quantum Mind. Emotions are both natural and necessary components of the human experience, a concept Dr. Joe Dispenza places at the forefront of his teachings. He posits that emotions act as a crucial interface, connecting our external realities with our internal states. Whenever we encounter an emotion, it triggers our body to release specific chemicals, leading to a physiological response that we recognize as feeling. For instance, the sensation of joy comes from the release of dopamine, rewarding us with pleasure, while fear prompts an adrenaline rush, gearing us up to confront perceived dangers. However, Dr. Dispenza delves deeper, revealing that our emotional landscape is not merely reactive to current events, but is also deeply sculpted by our past. Each time we reminisce about an emotionally charged memory, we rekindle the same emotional state, trapping ourselves in a cycle of re-experiencing these feelings. This cyclical nature of emotions can have a profound impact on our future steering us toward a reality riddled with the same patterns of negativity if we're not careful. It's akin to navigating life with our eyes fixed on the rearview mirror, which inevitably leads to a collision course with the unwanted. But Dr. Dispenza doesn't leave us without hope. He advocates for breaking free from the chains of past emotions to forge a brighter future. This liberation comes through a process of acknowledging our emotions, discerning their origins, and then making a conscious decision on how to proceed. Although daunting, mastering our emotional responses empowers us to sculpt a future that resonates with our aspirations rather than being anchored down by past fears or traumas. Now, one might wonder about the role of memories in this interplay of emotions. Let's delve into that further. Our emotions are intrinsically linked with our memories, impacting our well-being. This statement is not only a reflection of our daily experiences but also a scientific fact. Each time we recall a memory, we are not simply accessing a static snapshot from our past, we are actively reliving the emotions associated with that memory. You see, our brain doesn't differentiate between the physical reality and the vivid mental imagery of a past event. This is why the joy from a cherished memory can lift our spirits, or the fear from a traumatic event can send chills down our spine. Memory and emotion are so intricately linked that the recall of an emotional event can trigger the same physiological responses as the original event. This is what Dr. Dispenza refers to as emotional memories. These emotional memories can significantly impact our well-being, shaping our perceptions, attitudes, and even our health. An emotionally charged memory, especially a negative one, can create a cycle of emotional responses that can be hard to break. It's like being stuck in a feedback loop where the memory triggers the emotion which strengthens the memory, and so on. This is why it's crucial to develop emotional intelligence, the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our emotions. Emotional intelligence is not about suppressing or ignoring our emotions. Instead, it's about acknowledging them, understanding their source, and learning to navigate them effectively. It's about transforming our emotional patterns, so we're not held hostage by our past. Techniques like mindfulness, meditation, and cognitive reappraisal can be beneficial in this process. Emotional intelligence allows us to break the cycle of negative emotional responses, helping us to respond rather than react to our emotions. It's about building a healthier relationship with our emotions and memories, one that promotes well-being rather than hinders it. Now that we know the science, how do we break free from these negative emotional cycles? Breaking free from negative emotional loops is a journey of healing. It's a journey that starts with the recognition of patterns. Have you ever noticed how certain situations or people can trigger a cascade of emotions that seem all too familiar? That's because our brains are wired to remember and react based on previous experiences, creating an emotional loop. But what if we could step out of this loop? What if we could observe our emotions without being swept away by them? This is precisely the promise of mindfulness. 
mindfulness invites us into the present moment, teaching us to witness our thoughts and emotions without getting entangled in judgment. It offers a lens through which we can recognize our habitual responses and, instead of succumbing to them, choose how we wish to respond. This practice doesn't just reveal our patterns, it empowers us to rewrite them. Meditation, on the other hand, serves as a complementary practice to mindfulness, offering its own unique benefits for escaping the grip of negative emotional loops. Through meditation, we narrow our focus, quieting the incessant chatter that fills our minds. This process of deliberate concentration helps us to clear away the mental clutter, fostering a state of serenity and clarity. As we engage in regular meditation, we gradually learn to separate ourselves from our emotional impulses, observing them with a gentle, compassionate detachment. While both mindfulness and meditation aim to elevate our awareness and free us from the automaticity of our emotional responses, they approach this goal from slightly different angles. Mindfulness emphasizes the active engagement with our present experiences, promoting an acute awareness of our moment-to-moment -moment thoughts and feelings. Meditation in contrast often involves a more focused practice of concentration or contemplation, guiding us toward inner peace and mental clarity. Together, these practices can profoundly alter our relationship with our emotions, enabling us to navigate life with greater intention and equanimity. It's important to remember that emotions are not our enemies. They are signals telling us something about our current state of being. Acknowledging our emotions, even the uncomfortable ones, is an essential part of the healing journey. It's okay to feel what you feel. The key is not to let these feelings define you or dictate your future. Transforming negative emotional cycles is not about suppressing or ignoring our feelings. It's about understanding them, embracing them, and ultimately learning to navigate through them with grace and resilience. It's about creating a new, healthier pattern that serves us rather than holds us back. The mind's capacity to influence our well-being is profound, with belief acting as a pivotal catalyst in the healing process. Now let's explore the fascinating dynamics of the placebo effect. The placebo effect is a compelling illustration of the mind's remarkable ability to facilitate healing, showcasing the profound interplay between belief and physical health. This phenomenon is common in clinical trials where participants receive a treatment perceived as effective, say a pill, only for this medicine to be nothing more than an inert sugar pill. Yet, astonishingly, patients often report significant health improvements. The essence of this phenomenon doesn't lie within the pill itself, but in the patient's belief in its efficacy. This conviction sets off a cascade of biochemical reactions within the body, capable of producing tangible beneficial health outcomes. When a person believes they are receiving a real treatment, their brain activates regions associated with healing and pain relief, effectively convincing the body that recovery is underway. It's a testament to the brain's ability to generate physical changes from purely psychological stimuli. But the placebo effect's reach extends beyond the confines of physical health, casting a wide net over our psychological state as well. Positive beliefs and expectations can become a beacon of light in navigating emotional turmoil, diminishing stress, and softening the edges of depression. This isn't merely a call to think positive. It's an invitation to deeply believe in our transformative potential and the body's intrinsic healing capabilities. Imagine the power of the mind not just as a concept but as a tool, a force capable of molding our health and reality. This isn't about denying medical treatment when necessary but recognizing and tapping into our internal resources for resilience and recovery. So the next time you're faced with a hurdle, remember the placebo effects lesson. Your beliefs aren't just thoughts. They're architects of your reality, capable of healing and transformation. Let's look at a real-life story that demonstrates the power of emotions and the mind-body connection. In the heart of Long Beach, California, a startling phenomenon unfolded among a group of Cambodian women, all survivors of the harrowing Khmer Rouge regime. Despite having no physical ailments and receiving clean bills of health regarding their eyesight, these women began to mysteriously lose their ability to see. The root of their vision loss was not found in the physical structure of their eyes, which remained perfectly intact, but buried deep within their minds, haunted by the unspeakable horrors and atrocities they had witnessed during one of the darkest chapters in Cambodia's history, these women carried an immense burden of emotional trauma. The trauma was so profound and overwhelming that their minds, in a desperate attempt to protect them from further psychological pain, began to shut out the world around them. This psychological defense mechanism, while extreme, resulted in psychosomatic blindness, 
a physical manifestation of the unbearable emotional distress they endured. Through no conscious choice of their own, their subconscious minds decided that not seeing was preferable to the constant reminder of the past traumas visual stimuli could provoke. This extraordinary case underscores the powerful yet often misunderstood connection between our emotional well-being and physical health. It vividly illustrates how deeply our memories and emotions are intertwined with our bodily functions, to the extent that severe emotional pain can lead to dramatic physical consequences. The psychosomatic blindness of these Cambodian women is a stark reminder of our body's capacity to translate psychological scars into physical symptoms, highlighting the complex interplay between mind, body and the external world. Their story is not just a testament to the scars left by trauma, but also a powerful message about the potential for healing. It prompts us to ponder on the capacity of the mind to influence our physical reality, both in creating illness and in fostering healing. As we delve deeper into understanding this profound connection, we begin to uncover ways to harness the mind's power, not just to heal from trauma, but to actively shape our health and reality. This narrative, while rooted in pain, opens a doorway to hope and healing, offering a profound lesson on the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of the mind. It beckons us to explore how, by understanding and tapping into this connection, we can begin to heal from within unlocking our innate ability to overcome adversity and manifest well-being. Understanding and leveraging the placebo effect can empower us to influence our health positively. This remarkable phenomenon is a testament to the power of belief and expectation in our healing process. Instead of dismissing it as just a placebo effect, we should acknowledge its real tangible impact on our well-being. So how can we harness this power? Start by cultivating positive beliefs about your health and abilities. Believe in your capacity to heal, to change, to grow. This is not about wishful thinking but about creating an empowering mental environment that supports your healing journey. Next, embrace your emotions. Remember they are not your enemy but signals your body sends to communicate with you. Listen to them, understand them, and then let them go. Don't let past emotions dictate your future health. Finally, practice mindfulness and meditation. These tools can help you break free from negative emotional cycles and foster a positive mindset. They can help you stay present, focused, and resilient, no matter what life throws at you. Harnessing the mind for healing is not a one-off event but a lifelong journey. It's about consistently applying these principles and trusting in your innate ability to heal. Let's recap what we've learned today. Today, we've explored the transformative power of emotions, the science of the placebo effect, and the mind's capacity to influence physical health. We've delved into Dr. Joe Dispenza's groundbreaking work, understanding our emotions and how they're inextricably linked to memories and our well-being. We've examined the importance of breaking free from negative emotional cycles and the role of belief in the healing process. We've also heard the profound story of the Cambodian women, an extreme example of the potent effect of emotional trauma on physical health. But remember these principles are not just theories, they're practical tools that you can apply in your life. So take some time to explore these concepts. Start identifying your emotional patterns, believe in your capacity to heal, and see the transformation unfold. There's so much more to discover, and we promise to delve deeper into these topics in our future videos. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Remember, you have the power to heal and transform your life.